are listening to Digital Pratees podcast where you going to learn digital marketing for free every single day. Please do give me a review if you find something interesting over here. Please do give me a review because I keep on learning every single day something new. I keep on applying that something new which I have learned in my life and I'll keep on sharing that something new which I have learned and applied and maybe I got some awesome results. Welcome to this another episode of Digital Marketing Podcast where Digital Pratik is going to discuss key things about Shopify which you need to know before you jump into Shopify website. So the key highlights are uh it has a beautiful and professional design which makes your store look good and it also helps you more uh, sell more it has a comprehensive e-commerce tools with over 1400 apps in their app store and they do have a 24/7 support with phone online live chat and email so you can get help any time right it has been powering 500000 plus stores and it starts with a price plan of $29 a month with a 14 days free trial shopify is a leading online shop builder it is currently powering over 500000 online shops and has helped businesses process over 40 billion dollars worth of sales take a look at a couple of examples here and there on google and you can see what shopify can do for you all right simply type shopify help on youtube you'll come to know what i'm talking about now you can see a lot of customer success stories as well it doesn't matter if you are just starting a new online shop or bringing an offline store online to grow your business the last thing you want to do is troubleshoot technology shopify can help you save time so you can focus on other important aspects of your business So let's talk about a, a couple of uh, pros and cons of Shopify. Now pros if I talk about the pros of Shopify then there are over 100 beautiful professional looking mobile ready storefront teams so that your online shop can look great. If you have an online shop your shop has to look good. Why? Because it builds credibility and trust high off the bat. Now it's the same idea as a brick and mortar store. It has to look clean and professional to encourage visitors to stay and have a look around. Shopify do provide you with a theme store where you can pick and choose from their collection of premium themes either free or the paid ones just like WordPress across different industries like clothing, jewelry, furniture, art, what not. So you can dress up your website accordingly. All these themes are quality checked by Shopify so they are fully compatible with Shopify. This allows you to choose from a broad range of professional designs so your website will definitely look good. Shopify is very flexible and has all sorts of tools and apps to meet your needs and to extend the functionality of your online store. They offer you a large app store where you can choose from over 1400 different apps. Obviously, they categorize into free and paid versions which you can plug into your store. The tools include accounting, customer service, inventory management, marketing, reporting, shipping, social media, fulfillment, etc., etc., etc. And uh, these apps can help automate a lot of your business processes. This is really one of the biggest strengths about Shopify. Not only do they give you a way to build an online store and handle payments, they also offer you helpful tools you need for other important aspects of running a successful online store. You probably won't need all of them but you can definitely pick and choose the apps that you need. These apps are fully integrated into Shopify so you don't have to mess around with different systems and try to make them talk to each other. Just plug and play which will save you a lot of time and work, trust me. If you want to see, you can simply type Shopify help on YouTube right now and you will find a video on the first page of youtube saying 90 plus shopify hours and how you can set it from scratch up to a website where you can start selling and get your first order shopify offers you a true 24/7 anytime support you can reach them anytime through phone support online live chat or email they even provide you with four international phone numbers so you can choose the number that fits your region If you are running a business, you need immediate access to support when you need technology troubleshooting and Shopify provides this for you. Now let's talk about a couple of uh, cons as well. Because everything is balanced. Everything has a negative and a positive. Now it depends upon what you take. But let me talk about a, a couple of cons as well. Shopify does charge a transaction fee for every single sale unless you use Shopify as the payment processing. So in addition to a monthly service fee uh, which starts with $29 a month Shopify does charge its customer a 0.5% up to 2% transaction fee for their price plans 
unless you are using Shopify payments to power your payment transactions in which uh, all your transaction fees are removed. Now what does mean is is uh, it, Shopify will charge you 2% of sales value if you are using the basic Shopify plan, 1% of the sales will value if you are using the Shopify plan and 0.5% uh, of sales value if you are using the advanced Shopify plan. However, one thing you should appreciate about Shopify is that they are very, very transparent in their fee structures. A lot of other large online shop builders are well known for charging hidden fees. So you get a big surprising bill that you can calculate at the end of the month. Now with Shopify, you can actually calculate how much you owe them based on the agreed upon monthly plan and also based on how much sales you have made, which you obviously know. Now, one, uh, my, uh, one personal experience which I'll add upon over here is uh, one, one, I was actually running one demo account earlier and I forgot to cancel that account and after 14 days free trial, the immediate plan was taken. So I was being charged $79 a month. Immediately, I emailed the support team that this was by a mistake. I just want a refund and can you please help me out by closing the store and give me a refund. Now, they were actually helpful. All right. They give me a, they give me a full refund of $79 and they closed my store, which is not at all the refund policy, but still they helped me. So they are very, very uh, helpful in nature. Right. So although Shopify offers you over 1400 apps to extend the functionality of your online shop, a lot of apps are actually not free. Yeah, that sucks. <laughs> but they charge you a monthly fee, uh, which is very, very small at times, like $5 a month. So you uh, get charged a monthly fee for them to use. So naturally, this might be concerning due to increased monthly costs. For example, integrating a couple of leading accounting booking software, your Shopify store is 31 Point nine nine per month or thirty two dollars a month. All right. However, you should consider it in a positive way. If you need to manage accounting, this means that you are making a good number of sales. So you are going to need to manage your accounting anyway. You can either sign up for an accounting software elsewhere and manually export your sales information and import them into your accounting software, or you can hire a bookkeeper for a lot more than uh, thirty two or thirty five bucks a month. Or you can use one of the Shopify apps to make your life easier, which they actually give because the apps are fully integrated with Shopify. So you don't have to worry about the compatibility. So there is no manual work to make the different systems communicate properly with each other. Everything is integrated and you don't have to lift a finger to deal with bookkeeping. All right. Now let me talk about uh, Shopify uh, is a platform now. Uh, which which audience is ideal for Shopify or Shopify is ideal for now, Shopify is ideal definitely for you if you want to launch an online shop, trust me guys, or if you already have a physical store but want to continue to grow your online business by selling your products. So Shopify caters to a broad range of industries such as art and photography, clothing and fashion, jewelry and accessories, uh, electronics, uh, food and beverages, pets, home and garden, furniture and household, uh, sports, toys and games, etc, etc, etc. You can actually find a whole list of Shopify examples uh, on Google. Basically, any sort of gadgets or widgets or physical products that you can sell, Shopify can help make this an easier process for you. Now, dealing with the technology isn't easy and technology is not the only thing in running a successful business. However, as I mentioned earlier in this episode, you can go to YouTube right now, type Shopify help and I have one video which is two hour plus long uh, wherein I'm going through step by step process from scratch to getting my first ever order on that particular store. Shopify does give you a tool uh, to build your online store, but it's not a magic. So you will have to commit a few hours to learn the basics. But once you do that, uh, it, it's actually pretty smooth sailing from there. And don't you forget that you get a 24 to 7 online or phone support from them and YouTube videos where you can type Shopify help and go through my two hour plus long video. Now, let me categorize a couple of tools which, they, uh, which, which uh, Shopify gives you. Shop, so Shopify gives you the tools uh, to actually insert products, descriptions or details. Uh, they give you tools for managing the inventory, organizing your products into categories, discount code, engine or creator. They do give you tools for creating web pages and blogs, track customers and order details, accept payments from 70 different payment processors and different currencies, setting up customer accounts, sort your customers by location, money spent, etc, etc. So you can better understand where, where your customers are from and uh, their spending behaviors so you can market better to them. Uh, they also give you tools for managing multiple staff login. So if you have staff helping you, you can grant them different permission levels to help you manage your online shop, right? 
So the overall theme for Shopify is that they do have the heavy lifting for you and you can focus on other parts of the business like selling stuff. Now, one very important feature which Shopify gives you is abandoned checkout recovery. Now, did you know uh, that for an average e-commerce store, two out of three of your potential customers actually place products in the checkout cart or shopping cart and then they forget to complete the purchase process as they get distracted by emails, people, random things, etc, etc. Now, this is actually true according to statistics and if this happens to you, you will be losing a lot of potential profits. What a lot of advanced shopping cart provider offers uh, is the ability for you to discover who these people are and follow up with them to remind them to purchase the products that they added to the shopping cart. However, Shopify also offers an abundant checkout cart recovery service. All right. They just don't track. It actually offers you an abundant checkout cart recovery service to you as a part of the Shopify and advanced Shopify plans. So these, this tool enables you to automatically track and email them. All right. They automatically track and they also send out an email to these potential customers to follow up and remind them to complete their purchase depending upon the time slot which you select. Whether you want to send an abandoned cart uh, recovery email uh, after one hour, two hour, three hours, ten hours, blah, blah, blah. The way this tool works is that it will remember the email addresses that were inserted during the checkout processes and Shopify will automatically email them after a number of hours of your choice with links hat are unique to each of them. So uh, they bring them directly back to the shopping cart with the products already added to the cart for them to complete the purchase with relative ease. This entire process is automatic and stat uh, statistically you will see a meaningful increase in your sales without having to lift your finger. Honestly, this is one of the best features which Shopify gives, all right? And as mentioned above in this episode, uh, Shopify does offer you an extensive number of apps, which is 1400 plus. So you can add more functions to your online shop and automate a lot of business tasks. And the tools are not just for sales and marketing. They also include additional tools that help you manage administrative tasks, such as inventory management, fulfillment, shipping, customer service, bookkeeping, etc, etc. So while Shopify already includes basic functions for a lot of these areas, if you need more, these apps can help you. So as discussed, while these apps do have monthly fees, they are well worth it if you need those functions to save yourself the time. So I would like to conclude this episode by saying that you should be keeping in mind that you have success with your online shop. Uh, and, and if you eagerly want that, you need to have a very strong, capable and flexible online platform infrastructure to support you. And Shopify is one of those platforms that you should consider investing in, especially with the 24 to 7 phone and live chat support. And by going through that YouTube video of two plus hours long, uh, which will help you uh, to go through the complete step by step process of setting up your store with this 14 days free trial. All right. So I have this video. You can just go through it. I would just put up the link inside the description of this episode or you can just simply type Shopify space help on YouTube and you will find the first video or the second or on the first page somewhere which will mention Shopify help and 90 plus hour long in 2017. So that's it for this episode, guys. I hope you had some insights and I wish you all the luck with your Shopify online store. And I look forward to see you in the next one. Till then, take care. Bye-bye. And as always, guys, stay awesome. God bless and subscribe. Hey, 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 wait, wait, wait. Before you leave, before you leave, let me just tell you that please do give me a review. If you find something interesting over here, please do give me a review because that helps me rank over here and stand out from the crowd in digital marketing space. And that helps me boost my confidence in giving you and providing you as much possible as I can with the value stuff every single day to enhance my digital marketing knowledge. All right. So I'll see you in the review section and do give me a subscribe hit. Thank you.